Morning, here we are in sunny Stevenage. It's freezing fucking cold. Um, no, 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 put them on blocks, just cut the blocks. They're all on the other job. I, I didn't know what I was up against here, to be quite honest. Um, right, we've got Scott here, Mr. Smith, the governor, um, getting this one up the damp, block and beam, little extension. Um, got the dreaded chariot rake out on the face brickwork. Um, so yeah, I'll get on with it now and uh, I'll keep you updated later. Oh, just like a tea time, Mr. Smith's in the hole. Um, where he belongs, some may say. Um, yeah, con <laughs> yeah. concrete's a bit out, uh, we've got a bit of fucking about anyway, yeah. Um, I'm over here on this bit of brickwork. Have some mud, Scott, yeah? Uh, yeah, running this in, this is all brickwork, this is the neighbours. Uh, this bit of a batten here was already there when they set out, so I just screwed a profile into there and a Dutch clamp at the bottom just rolled it. All helps, doesn't it? Uh, and it's raked out with a chariot, which will do last thing because uh, it's all a bit wet. Uh, where's my chariot? Oh, I've got one in here somewhere, so I dug it out of the van. I've had that for years. Don't know, lost it now. Perhaps I ain't got one. I'll get it out, that chariot. It is out, yeah. I can see it. Because I saw it. I put it somewhere. I've seen it. It is out, I have seen it. Oh, I've got it, it's here. Yeah. There you go. She's old and the fucking nails just fell out, so that ain't good. That's telling me something probably broke on it. Sort that out later. Let the nail go. That is always the problem. Fuck knows. I'll have to find another one. Um, yeah, with this stuff, I uh, always join the perks up first. Just make sure they're full, because if you don't and you rake them out, um, you can get holes in it. I don't really like doing it with these feathered bricks. Um, put this on. When it's done, that's how they do it, as you can see. But, uh, <coughs> I've got these feathers in them, and uh, the wheels, um, the muck just sticks in it when you go through with the chariot. Um, I don't know if you know these only get laid one way. Um, if you look at it that way, you can see the feathers going down. If you lay them upside down, they say the water can get traps in there, and you get a freeze thaw, and it blows. Never seen it myself, but quite possible. Quite here, isn't it? Nice. And listen to that fucking fog all day.
I have some bricks here, Scott, stacked up. What's that? I have some bricks here. Yeah. Stack them up high and near me. Got your pickles in yet? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. I've got some onions ready. End of the month. Yeah. I've done some hot pickled eggs. Proper. The hottest chilli sauce I could find on eBay. Loads of people kept giving me in the summer. It's cabbage, red cabbage, pickled red cabbage. Got yeah. Fucking loads of that. Yeah. Yeah. Where would you get that? Yeah, where would you get it? Oh, right. I've got the carrots. I've got them in my boxes once a week. Yeah. Maybe two minutes. I might put some ties in that, I think. Uh, underground, is it? More the merrier. Pull a bit nearer, in front of them where. In front, yeah. yeah. And put them on top. Where, Hexham? Hexham yeah, Where's that? that? There, Yorkshire, so isn't it? About, yeah, 20, 30 miles further on than uh, Newcastle. Oh, right up there, yeah. Yeah, because you get, they'll deliver all that now, won't they? Yeah, get me one, yeah. Yeah, job to get a good pork pie. I used to do a decent one at uh, Brock's Bowl now, but I haven't been in there for a long while. His sausages? Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, have you tried that Italian shop, the other side of Odderston? Yeah, Italian sausages. 
beautiful, especially on the barbecue, but you don't eat the barbecue. Yeah, you make some fresh in there. Yeah. Fucking old tarts, aren't we, us men? With our cookies. Yeah. Well, you can't rely on the missus, can you? Well, I fucking can't. <laughs> fucking useless. Must be retired soon, don't she? She's got three years to go, yeah. Three, oh, that's the real. Keep making up. Oh, I can come on this I don't know, I'll count up. Right, folks, quarter three, we've had enough. We've had a little go. Uh, I've got that up. That's that rate to outwork. Not too bad, Governor, is it? Not too bad. Uh, we're up there, there, there. We've got the inside skin tomorrow and sort out uh, for the floor beams. We've got. Um, Floor beams going on in, but um, we had the normal palaver, as you can see. Oh, let's get right down there. I'm going to cut our way out. Uh, yeah. And then round here is a full split, all the way around. Uh -oh. uh, that's what you're up against anyway. Right, I'm going to get a bit of Essien. I'm going to cover everything up. He's gonna freeze tonight, and uh, we'll finish it off in the morning. I'm going to the pub. Morning, right? Um, Tuesday morning, and we're back on the Stevenage job. It's a bit cold. A cup of tea first before we start. About eight o'clock, but it's still minus one. Um, right. Uh, what I've got to do is. I've got one cogs through the front and a couple of cogs down the side uh, and then we're going to set out for the uh, block and beam floor um, I've seen this done wrong so probably wrong more times than done correct well I think so anyway um, especially on new builds you, I've had builders go no 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 get, just get the inside skin up I need to get the floor on get the floor on what well, about the vents it's got to be vents and then the air bricks get them in the right place and all that oh, it's a fucking nightmare isn't it and they go around knocking holes in the wall, don't they, to get them in, or they, you know, where the block fits in the beam, and they try and fit it under there. It's all wrong, it's all wrong. Anyway, I'll show you how I'll do it. Um, but firstly, we uh, always get the perimeter up, the outside skin, all the way around, um, bang on level, and then that's your point. You can, you know, you can work off of that all the way around. Uh, as you know. Um, your, your DPC is your finished floor level normally, but when you're doing extensions, that don't always happen because whatever's been done before isn't right. Uh, and we've got two problems here. I know I haven't really looked at it, but my eyes are always wandering about. Um, 
obviously we know the concrete's out of level, uh, it's about 25, 30 mil out of level. So um, what we did there, you would have noticed in the yesterday evening's video, yesterday afternoon's video, is that uh, we've got two cobs of blocks down there and then we'd cut the cobs of bricks to get it out, which is still below, um, uh, below ground level. Uh, it, cause that trench was so tight and uh, Oh, Mr. Smith's knees ain't that good. Uh, it ain't that mobile in there, nor am I, to be honest. Um, so it's easy just to get it up, get it out, and uh, do the cut there. On this inside skin, I probably won't. Um, I'll, but we'll have to cut the block because I don't like. I'm not sure it's going to work, but I don't like splits or anything underneath the floor beams. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll probably do. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah. Um, I ain't going to do no filming as such, but um, we'll get it up and I'll go through it with you and Joe just show you what we've done uh, and how I'll do it. Right, finish my tea and uh, have a little go. Right, here we are. Um, we're not finished yet. It's not even lunchtime, but I've got half of it done. I've got time just to show you what we've done. Um, right. Uh, you all know that um, your DPC should be the same height as your floor level, uh, finished floor level. And you know, if you're building, doing a new building, that you will, you'll do that. Well, you should do. But when you do an extension, it don't always happen. Um, right, that's the DPC level there. If you come along, it's there. Oh, I'm not paper there. Here was that. Can't see. No, I can't see. Anyway, um, yeah. But finished floor level is there, and your DPC is there. Now, what a lot of people do, um, they're not too familiar with extensions. They'll just come on, find that the uh, DPC level, and assume that's the floor level. And then you fuck right up, to be quite honest. So you've got to treat them as two separate bodies, really. Um, get your outside skin up to um, high at DPC level. Find your uh, finished floor level from in the house, which is in there. And then determine where you're going to um, put your floor beams. Here we've got 75mm um, Celotex, 75mm screed and a 150 beam, so that's 300 um, <clears throat> so from there, it's nearly that course, uh, it's four courses, which is 300, one, two, three, four, we're going to there, and I've already marked it, right, it's going to make us 10 mil short, 290, we'll take 10 mil off the, uh, off the screed, or 10 mil off the insulation, one or the other, you've got to have a bit of a compromise on these extensions, um, so yeah, uh, right, as I explained earlier, with the uh, vents, you know, how people put them in and that, get your outside skin up first, Get that level, and you can tape down and sort it out from there. And this is how I do it. Um, put my telescopic vents in, and we lint all over them, and everything's just a solid job how it should be. Um, that's how I do it. How do we do it, Scott? Do we do it the right way or the wrong way? Do it the right way. We do it the right way. That's it. Right Scott, no. Scott's our main man. Um, right. Got a little bit of finish there, and then we're out of here. Um, early day.